This episode is sponsored by Voltoro. Keep on listening and you will find out more about how you can buy allocated gold when the Bitcoin bull run reaches its peak. This way, you don't have to deal with infinitely inflationary fiat or banks that freeze your account. Also, note that trading involves risks and the information presented is not financial advice. This episode is also sponsored by Wasabi Wallet. Go to wasabiwallet.io, download Wasabi for your OS, and significantly boost your network level and transaction privacy. Hello there, and welcome to Season 9, Episode 10 of the Bitcoin Takeover Podcast. This season is all about philosophy, and I find it interesting that in this episode, I have a guest who has actually read pretty much every Bitcoin book out there and is able to talk about the authors and the topics that they approach and the book that he wrote by himself after he decided to pursue all of this studying and all of that research. And I suppose that this can be helpful for all of you out there who are looking to buy a Bitcoin book and need something that's topical according to your interests or according to your level of understanding. And his name is David Santonge, but for convenience, I'm going to call him David. He comes from Canada and he has published a book of his own, of which he will be allowed to speak now. So hi, David. Hi, Vlad. Thanks for having me on your show. Well, I'm really happy that we get to do this because I was actually planning at some point to read every book out there on the topic of Bitcoin and figure out which one is all hype and which one is actually excellent. And now that I get you, I get to cheat on my pursuit and ask you what you think. Yeah, that's a nice shortcut, (laughs) isn't it? (laughs) It's kind of selfish, you know, I do these podcasts for myself, so I learn something new, but, you know, people listen to it. I'm happy. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I did read almost all the Bitcoin books. I I think I bought all of them, almost all of them. I have like 36 books or more now, maybe 38, 39 books, not all about Bitcoin, but uh, books um, on the subject on subject related to Bitcoin. Let's like um, what has government done to our money? For me, it's a Bitcoin book. You know, it's, there's no mention of Bitcoin. It's, it was published before Bitcoin, but every Bitcoiner you ask on on Twitter will have it on his list of 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 must read uh, for to understand Bitcoin. And yeah, so it. you are like the ultimate student, right? You took every book out there, you bought it, you read it across two years or something, and now you can say that you have read most of them. Yeah, I had to. Um, I, I really had to because because I was um, I was put in a situation where I was roughed intellectually by by very small people, very smart people, and and um, challenging me about about. Bitcoin and, and some concept I didn't understand at at this time, at that time. Sorry. So, so I I said to myself I will if I want to push you um, my research on Bitcoin. I mean I I I I got to do it well, do it properly. So uh, the easiest way for me to learn about Bitcoin was reading books. I know there's a lot of people that listen to podcasts and read article online that that's that's awesome too that's that's fine but um the easiest way for me was to read and and since english is not my 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 native language um it, it's it's harder for me to to listen to podcasts uh, compared to um to read books cuz cuz i can cheat i can i with with a kindle you you have a dictionary built in so if there's a word you don't understand you just you just look it up and and have the definition right re- right re- right away so it's very important for me that that's one of the thing I, I i always say to people that when you read you have to look up every word you don't understand 
And most people tell me like, well, no, I, I will understand the word in the context. But it, it happened to me a lot of time that I, I thought the word meant the complete opposite of of what I I, 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 I thought it was it was meaning. So um, so yeah, so 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 reading books for me was the perfect uh, the perfect way to learn about Bitcoin and. And it's faster, I think, to learn by reading books because the author of those, the authors of those books uh, took time to structure their idea and put it in a way that it has a, um, an introduction, uh, some 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 uh, some data, some context in the middle, and 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 the conclusion. So it's really well thought and well planned in advance uh, so so you're a bit saving times when i think when you read a book because there's there was thought that was put in to structure these ideas uh, i think you yeah so if you read articles and 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 listen to podcasts on 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 some subject it's going to be harder i think to to um Maybe the, maybe the podcast will start too uh, advanced for you. You, you understand there will no there will not be enough introduction on that subject on this particular podcast, so you won't get what the the speaker means. So, so I think you get my idea that that uh, books are great to uh, a great way for me at least to learn more about Bitcoin. So that that's why I I, I choose to read all the books about Bitcoin. <laughs> Okay, so I have a picture in front of me, and these are the books that you have read until, I guess, now. Maybe that this is dated because you took it in January. Maybe that you have read a couple more since then. Yes. But something that I want to ask you at this point is maybe to rate them according to your experience and try to figure out which ones are really worthwhile and which ones are the best. Are you okay with that? Yes, of course. Let's do that. Okay, so the first one that I see here is Mastering Blockchain by... I don't see the name so well. I need to zoom in. Yeah, no, uh, sorry. Uh, I, I have just this... The, Imran the, Bashir. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's him. Yeah, so that's that's actually the first book, <laughs> the very first book I've read. Um, and And it was not... A good a good book to start uh, it's an interesting book about uh, blockchain as a whole so it's the others talking about uh, ethereum and, and all, all other blockchain uh, that exists at the time of uh, he wrote the book uh, and and I gotta confess that I think I half of what's written in that book i didn't understand at, at the time because it was the very first book to introduce myself to uh, bitcoin and blockchain so but it's it's a great book if you're gonna want to go deep on the blockchain technology and I, I i i think i understand quite well how ethereum works because of that because i've read this book but uh, it's not something I would I would uh, continue uh, pursue uh, reading about. So so I'm happy that I did. But uh, yeah, it's 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 really a book about blockchain, an advanced book about blockchain, and it's really not a good way to start your your um, your reading uh, process about uh, Bitcoin or blockchain. Right. I actually think I have this one somewhere in Humble Bundle. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but sometimes they give away some video games or books. Yes, I uh, have it too. Books, I mean, ebooks. On, on PDF, yeah. I have it physically, as you see, but I have, have it uh, in PDF from uh, from Humble Bundle too. Yep. Yeah, so I, I think I read a bit from it, but what I liked was that it introduced the cypherpunks and presented the, the inventions that came before Bitcoin. And I found that very useful when I first started, even though the one that I tried to read at the time was Mastering Bitcoin by Andrea Santanopoulos. That was the most popular. That was the one that people were telling me to read. I tried. I really tried. I, I, I've learned a lot at the same time. But in the end, you know, the one that actually made it click in my mind was the blog of Nick Sabo, mm -hmm. Unenumerated. 
Okay. And I think lots of books actually take information from there because he he writes, Nick Sabo writes very extensive articles on lots of topics. Okay. And he details stuff about the history of money and stuff like that. But the point of this was to ask you to rate the book. So on a scale from one to 10, how good is Mastering Blockchain? I'm going to have to uh, give two um, two ratings for each book, I, I guess, because um, uh, th- there's there's a global appreciation and 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 maybe uh, an appreciation about uh, should you read it if you start or you know what I mean if if you're a beginner you, you even if a book is is a ten on ten it doesn't mean that you have to read it or you have to start. Or, or less <laughs> that you have to start with it. So, so I would give a, a solid like seven for mastering Bitcoin because because it's well written and there's a lot. Uh, sorry, not mastering Bitcoin, uh, mastering blockchain because it, it's it's really well well written. There's a lot of stuff in there. It's a big book, uh, so seven on ten. But uh, but it's it's not uh, a book I would r- recommend for Bitcoiners. Uh, uh, because there's 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 other books that are way way better uh, to understand Bit, uh, Bitcoin and introduce you. So so for the content seven on ten and and for for Bitcoin you want to start it's a three on ten. Don't read that book if you start your journey on Bitcoin or or blockchain. Okay, so an average of five. Now let's talk about the next one, which is tokenomics. Yes, the crypto this- shift of blockchain ICOs and tokens by Sean O and Thomas Power. This this book is really cool because um, it got me so excited about all the other blockchains and tokens, and I thought the world would be all tokenized and and that blockchain would change the world, and I was really <laughs> excited, and and um, I was even like angry about all the the government institution who want to regulate uh, all that because it would kill innovation, you know, all that. So I was really into that at, at this point. And remember, it was like in 2018. So it's the second book I read. But I'm really glad I did because it's it's a really great uh, uh, history. It, 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 it tells me, it told me the history of what I missed because I joined in uh, the... Bitcoin uh, community or, or blockchain uh, community in in 2018, and and all all the ICOs uh, uh, craze was was in 2017. So I missed all that. I was not in the, the the space at that time. So it was a perfect way to read all what all what happened with ICOs and all that stuff. But I could I could clearly tell you what <laughs> uh, in in one sentence. Everything that is in that book, it's really easy. It's just a book about marketing. And and what this book tells you that if you want to launch a token, all you need is like a website, a white paper, a few pictures of employees that, that you need a CTO and a CEO and, uh, uh, you know, and marketing head and all that stuff. You just need picture of people with those titles. Put that on your website. And you launch your token and 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 make twenty million dollars uh, launching that. So it's it's exactly what the book explained, but it's, it's not explaining that in a, in a way that it's saying that it's not good. It's it's actually saying saying that that uh, it's it's ironic because the book is very serious about that. But uh, reading it after and seeing what happened, you just realize how how easy it is to uh, build uh, an ICO without anything real to support it. Yeah, I remember tokenization in 2018. And at the time, I was receiving all sorts of emails because I was writing articles for different publications. Can you tell the dog to be more quiet? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just closed the door. It's really weird. There's a dog at my <laughs> at my window that is barking at me. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, I, it's I, fine. I you were talking about tokens and he doesn't like them. Yeah, exactly. That's that's uh yep. It, it, the, that's a good way to put it. So I, I closed the the window and, and the, the shades. So I think we're good. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. So how do you rate this book? Uh, it's uh, for the history part. I mean, if you want to know what happened in 2017, it's the best book for that. So it's a solid eight on ten. But if you're a Bitcoiner, want to learn about about Bitcoin, uh, t- 
don't read it. It's two on ten. It's really a, a, a novel. If you're interested, just a, like a novelty to know what happened in 2017 about ICOs. If you don't care about that, don't read it. But it's a great book for history of uh, ICOs. So uh, what I said, nine on ten for 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 the history part. I mean, for for people who are interested on that subject, but but for Bitcoiners, two on ten. So that's five point five out of ten okay. at an average. Now the next one on your list is Mastering Bitcoin by Andrea Santinopoulos. Yes. You read the second edition. Yes. Uh, f- to start, ten on ten. Yeah, it's it's the perfect book to understand uh bitcoin uh, uh to uh, down to his little details uh it's it's explained the how how it works uh uh yeah uh, uh, almost to the coin uh, to, to the code you know you, there is there's there's code line I, I, if i remember correctly and there is all the details so it's the perfect book to understand uh uh, precisely how Bitcoin works under the hood for for a developer or someone who's really technical. Uh, 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 so so there's I don't think there's a better book for that, but <laughs> there's there's better books for that for non technical people who or people are not no coder or don't need to understand Bitcoin to the the very last little details. Um, so so it's 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 a 10 on 10 for for the content for how it's written uh, it really made me understand bitcoin uh to the to the the, the, the tiniest details but uh I, I think i understood maybe 75 percent of it at the time because it was way too advanced for my level at this time even if i'm a i'm a coder in life i'm a technical director i'm a programmer I, i've studied computer science it was even even for me, it was too much. Uh, but uh, for someone who's, uh, I don't know, who's in, more into Bitcoin and want to start a company about Bitcoin and want to want to know exactly how Bitcoin works, that, that's a book to read. But it's not very approachable for, for normal people. So I would give it a 6 for, for Bitcoin who want to learn Bitcoin, but a 10 for the content. Okay, that's an average of 8. I think so far it's the highest rated. And is this the correct order? Was this the third? Yeah, book? yeah. I, the, where are you getting that order? It's exactly the order I I, I read the book. It, have I writ, wrote it somewhere? <laughs> no, it's just the way that you arranged them. So I'm taking them from left to right. Uh, I'm I'm wondering if you were looking at the same picture. You're you're looking at a picture uh, that is pinned on my. Um, on my Twitter account, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I have another picture in the article I sent you uh, on Stadel Twenty One. That is that has my complete um, uh, collection. Uh, let me just a second. I'm gonna. But f- is go- that in the correct order? No, no. So you're better following this, uh, the one you have, and I'm gonna complete uh, after that. Yeah, that's exactly the right order. So yeah, I'm at the same, I'm at the same image as you now. So, so yeah, the, the no, the next one, yeah, my, uh, it was mastering Bitcoin, and after that, I I read programming Bitcoin. Oh man, like you started with the hardest books, right? I know that's exactly why I did my I. I, I I wrote my book and 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 I'm doing all uh, those podcasts and 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 wrote writing articles about that because I don't want people to do the same mistake as me, uh, reading all the difficult book at first and then read the more appropriate book for my level after, because uh, it was really it was kind of a bit painful. Uh, if I was not if I was not in a uh, like reading frenzy or frenzy or sorry in a like. I had to read book. I had uh, uh, be, because the situation I explained to you earlier about about being roughed and tricked by very smart people. I, I would I think I would have ju- just uh, uh, stopped because it, it was was a lot of time uh, needing to to really understand all those books, and it was hard to read. Uh, uh, but it, I thought it was it was the only way, so I, I did it. 
But after that, I found other books and other books were written with that are really more suited for, for beginners. So I read then after and was like, oh my God, this is so much easier to understand. And that, that's a bit why, but that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going we're gonna to reach the, the books that are more suitable for, for, uh, for, for people who start in Bitcoin. And, and, and it's going to make more sense for, for them to read those books uh, compared to, let's say, programming Bitcoin, which is an awesome book too. Like I'm going to give it uh, 8 on 10 for content and, and uh, I don't know, 5 on 10 for, 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 for uh, beginners. Uh, well, maybe less than that. Four on ten, because it's really, it's so that, really. That's an average of six, right? Yeah, it's 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 why because it's 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 a cool complement to mastering Bitcoin because you're 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 seeing the exact same concept that are described in mastering Bitcoin, but with uh, um, Python codes. The uh, the other uh, Jimmy Song uh, rewrite the whole Bitcoin code. With Python, it's really cool. Uh, so every every bug that still have uh, we still have in Bitcoin, um, every uh, when I say bug, I mean you know the the the, the little bug that doesn't calculate uh, the I think uh, you know there's a minus one somewhere that shouldn't be there. So uh, I think that's the uh, 2016 block uh, uh, for the adjustment uh, is not right because of that little bug. But, well, it's 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 in there. It's in mastering Bitcoin, and it's it's in programming Bitcoin. So in programming Bitcoin, you see the code that that has a little error in it. So and all the concept you you see in mastering Bitcoin, you read about in mastering Bitcoin, are in programming Bitcoin in code. So it was a perfect revision of of all the content of mastering Bitcoin in programming Bitcoin. But but I'm not a Python coder, so I could not understand all the code, but it was really cool, and I really liked how uh, Jimmy uh, uh, structured it. So it was really, really a cool read. But I should have read those two books way after, let's say, uh, Inventing Bitcoin that we're going to talk about later. Yeah, so the next one is the Bitcoin standard, yeah. right? That's where uh, I I finally got Bitcoin and what it's all about. And, and that... Uh, that book uh, uh, stopped my interest in um, all the other token and blockchain and, and all coins. So after reading the Bitcoin standard, I think that's where I became a Bitcoiner. Like I understand that it was all about money, art, art money, and what money is and and what what is how fiat uh, currencies works, uh, all that. And 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 it you as you see it it kind of um, uh, explain the following books I read the, the book I read after was uh, what has government done to our money because I, I I wanted to know more about how fiat works because it's described in Bitcoin standard uh, but but uh, it's 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 uh, an intro it's an introduction so. So I wanted to read more about that. So that's why after that, I, I read the, what has government uh, done to our money. But to come back to the Bitcoin standard, um, it's it's the perfect book for um, people who um, are in finance or, or it's not a perfect book for beginner, but it's the perfect book for people who understand uh, economics, economics, and 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 finance, and all that stuff, because it's gonna, they're gonna, they're not gonna have problem understanding all that concept that are described in this book. It's not yet a great book for beginners, but it's the Bible for me. It's the Bible if you want to understand um, how uh, Bitcoin is gonna change the world. So. It's it's a seven on ten for beginners, uh, 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 but it would be a ten on ten for content. Of course, this is this is a perfect book, but it's not really meant for beginner yet. Uh, I have another book to suggest that has uh, content that is similar, but way more uh, attractive for beginners. Uh, after we're, it's not on this picture, but we're gonna wonder. Well, it's actually it's layer, layered money from uh, Nick Batia. 
layered money cover a lot of concepts that are covered in Bitcoin standard, but it's 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 written in an easier way to understand. Uh, and it starts earlier. It has a better description of how money was well, how fiat were created, or how the, the all the layers on money were appeared. It's really well uh, described. It's really clear. It's really easy to understand, and it has a a good way to um, present the platform we're going to have in the future that is going to have Bitcoin at, at its base, at, at, at like as a, a reserved currency, and all the layers we're going to have on top of that uh, to, to, to have a complete financial system like today. So his uh, description of that, uh, Nick Batia, is, is really clear and, and approachable for, for everyone. So we're going to we're gonna ha- we're, I'm gonna describe it better uh, further uh, in the interview, but uh, f- for Bitcoin standard, so it's a ten and a seven uh, on ten for um, for for beginners. Yeah, so it's an eight point five. Yeah, and, and the the last thing I, uh, uh, I'm going to tell about that book is is um, it's it's an anecdote that happened to me because I I helped correct uh well revised the the english the french version of the book which called etalon bitcoin uh and and there was too much ang- anglicism uh, words in english like cash and and there was a lot of words uh english words in the book because there was no equivalent in french at that time and 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 in 2019 or 2020 there were words that were uh, invented in french for all those all those uh terms so i revised the whole book uh in french uh, and compared it directly to the the english version to make sure that everything is fine and i found lots of errors and and uh, we corrected it we corrected it and and the anecdote is that s- someone um came to me and said well the uh, the french version of uh, B- uh bitcoin Salo is bad is w- not uh, well translated because all the sentences are way too long and and complicated to to understand and to read <laughs> i was like that's not the trend the translation is not a problem it's it's like that in the in the in the english version too it's 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 just the way saif um right so he, he, there's a lot of long sentences and and is the subject he, he he write about are kind of complicated so so yes, yeah, so I was uh, I was just uh, telling the the french guy who who told me that that it's just the way uh, the word the book is written so it's not about the problem is not the translation well it's actually not a problem it's just the way uh, safe writes and 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 that and that's it so 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 yeah so it's maybe not the most the most approachable uh, book for for beginners yeah okay so after you read Seyfedin, and by the way, we should mention the ranking so far. So we have the Bitcoin standard, which is rated at 8.5, the highest. And then we have Mastering Bitcoin, which is rated at 8. And then we have, I'm not sure, Programming Bitcoin and whatever. I don't think we should keep track. We should keep track of the top three or something. Yep, we will. We will re- reach a top three for sure. Uh, so... so- you read Murray Rothbard's What Has Government Done to Our Money? Yeah. How was that compared to Seyfedin's work? Was it more hardcore economics? Was it useful in the context of Bitcoin? It was useful. And I, I actually arranged build one of my friends with that book. Uh, he was talking to me about fiat and 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 pr- money printing, all that stuff. And I said, like, yeah, just read that book. You're going to get it. And uh, he read that book. He was like, "Oh my God, I didn't know that. Oh, it worked. Uh, oh, it really worked." And and uh, yeah, I think it's a very approachable book um, for for beginners. So I, I would give it like eight on ten for for beginners. And 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 the content maybe eight on ten too, maybe nine because it's not a, it's an old book, you know. So it's not one hundred percent. It doesn't. I don't think it represents exactly how it worked today, but it's 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 how we got there. I think so. So uh, it's a very very cool book, and it's it's not long to read. Uh, it's really well written. And one weird thing about that book is the format. Uh, the format that is selling on Amazon right now is like a big book with with really big font. It's like written for people who, who had 
uh, eyes problem. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it's really weird. Uh, um, so, so that that's kind that's kind of, of strange, but um, but nonetheless, it's a it's a really great book. I liked it uh, a lot, and uh, yeah, it helped me understand how fiat works. So yeah, really recommended. So I said what like. Uh, uh, eight on ten for beginners and uh, eight on tens on, on content, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is on par with mastering Bitcoin so far. Yes. And the Bitcoin standard is still at the top. And the next one that is in the picture is Bitcoin Money by the Bitcoin Rabbi, if I'm not mistaken, but it's La Monnaie Bitcoin. Yes. It's a translation. Was that yes. you who translated? No, this book? no. No, it's not me. Uh, but I did the, the audiobook in in uh, in French. I don't think it's available, but I I, I use it on my Bitcoin course uh, in French. So I, I send the link. Uh, it's a hidden uh, YouTube link that I that I share with my 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 students, and and to to like it's a, it's a fast way to have access to that book. And that book is really great. I, I give it a 10 on 10 on, on uh, for beginners and uh, let's say 6 on 10 for the content because it's kind of basic, but but it's really cool the way um, the Bitcoin rabbi uh, explained money. It's it's perfect. I actually used his example in my book. I, I cite I cite, yeah, him on... on uh, I quote, sorry, I quote him on in my books uh, about his example of how to describe the, the role of money and uh, the characteristics of money. That's where I, I got uh, my ideas for describing that in my book. So I, I use his examples and I, 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 I quote his book in mine. Okay, so Bitcoin money is on par with mastering Bitcoin and what has government done to our money? They're, they are all eight. Cool. Voltoro, and that's V A U L T, like a gold vault, and O R O, Oro, which is Spanish for gold, is a gold and Bitcoin exchange which offers instant swaps between hard money to over 31,000 customers from more than 95 countries. Voltoro has offered Swiss privacy and security since 2015. Furthermore, the gold you purchase is your legal property, secured in your name, so even if something happens to Voltoro, even liquidators could not touch your gold. If you want to become the custodian of your own gold bars, you can request to have them delivered to you or simply trade them back to Bitcoin on the dip. Register for free in only 30 seconds and start trading only with hard money. Please keep in mind that all trading involves risks. This is not financial advice and you are responsible for your own decisions. When you are using Wasabi Wallet, your internet connection gets routed through the Tor network by default. This means that you get better privacy while using Bitcoin. Download it today at wasabiwallet.io. After that, yeah, I wrote, uh, I read um, Etalon Bitcoin in French or Bitcoin Salon in French. That's where I, that's actually where I, I met my publisher for my book uh, because I found errors in the translation and I contacted um, Saif on Twitter and uh, and she saw the tweet and, and she, contacted, she contacted me and, and we, uh, we corrected, uh, we revised and corrected the uh, the uh, the French version, she reprinted the books, and after that, I, when I had the idea of writing my own book, I contacted her and asked her if I, if 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 she would be interested in publishing a, a, a new book in French about Bitcoin, and she said, "Write it, we're gonna publish it." <laughs> as simple as that. So reading that book gave me the key to to uh, to a publisher house. <laughs> Yeah, this is always useful. And it's part of this whole open source ethos. When you find an issue, you just contact the people responsible and they're going to find ways to fix it. And this is how you contribute. And this is how all of us can put our 
effort into something which exists and can get better. And yeah, that's admirable right. because th this is also how you come up with ideas for projects of your own. Yes, you're right. And and I read your article in your uh, uh, magazine uh, exactly about that, about the open source uh, uh, part of, of Bitcoin software. And I think you're right. Uh, the more it's used, the more it's the more people are going to find issues and 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 uh, and and, uh, and developers going to be able to fix them so yeah you're right yeah except that in our case we have to deal with publishing houses and editors and people who may be like ah oh, i don't care much about that the book sells or yeah. it didn't sell enough copies for me to make changes to it yeah true true i, I i've not uh encounter that but i can absolutely see uh, that it 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 could happen for sure so the next one on the list is the little bitcoin book which is a collaboration between jimmy song and alex gladstein and alena vranova and who else was there i i know because i'm the one who translated this in romanian but it was not okay. published yet because the publishing house is slow Okay. I don't know when it gets published. I, I think they're going to miss the bull market if they take too long. But I, I think it's pretty cool. But I, I want to hear your opinion because you're the uh, guest here. It's a 10 on 10 for beginners, for sure, because it's really built for beginners. Uh, I would say a 7 on 10 for content uh, because it was not a book for me. Um, I, I think by that time, I... I it's well i will compare it to uh 21 lessons or uh, uh, uh knot books uh knot books um uh, bi uh, bi uh sovereignty uh, through mathematics uh i was amazed by the content of this book it made me taught further like in the f it 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 uh it sent me in the future thinking how things would work and all that stuff uh because uh, I think not not book is more philosophical or, or uh, yeah so 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 this book sh uh, I think it has the same approach it, it, it's um, it's trying to uh, explain how the world works and how the world uh, w would work uh, with Bitcoin and 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 that's great uh, the the um, the greatest idea that I found in that book is I think it's the book who uh, talked about the um, the people in the women in uh, um, not Iran but Iraq uh, that were not allowed to have uh, bank accounts and there was a, a lady that were hiring them to work in a in a uh, in a mill at a mill or something and and they were able to get paid in Bitcoin. And um, and they f they f they flew the country after with their words in their head, and they were able to 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 have their wealth with them. So that idea was was uh, uh, was strong. I was like, wow, this is a great anecdote, and it, it's this is how Bitcoin is going to change the world. But at the end, uh, for me, it was it it did not covers the um, the subject. Uh, I was more found of in the other books I've read. Uh, so, uh, uh, what is money? Uh, what is fiat? And and how Bitcoin works. So this is the three subject I'm more interested in uh, when 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 I read about Bitcoin and when I, I teach Bitcoin to people. Those are the three subject I cover that I'm interested in, and I don't think there's too much of that in this book so so it's a it's a 10 on 10 for beginners but this book did not cover the subject i was interested in uh, that much so it's a different angle that i would use to introduce people to bitcoin I, i'm not sure if i i'm I, i'm clear or if you agree but uh, this is this is my take on this book it it take another angle that uh, it's not the angle i would use to introduce people to bitcoin I mean, I like it because it focuses on human rights and yeah. there's a lot of emphasis on this. I also like it because it presents practical examples of financial censorship and how it's taking place and how it develops in True. our everyday life. But I don't like the fact that you can tell when you read it that 
it's disorganized. It's all over the place. Sometimes it, it's obvious that different authors have worked on mm-hmm. different chapters because sometimes you get the same information that was okay. maybe two chapters ago. Yeah. And that's just, you know, I, I've spent a lot of time with this because I translated it. And sometimes there are also parts where unrealistic expectations are presented. Like it doesn't talk, obviously, when you talk to newbies, you're not going to explain to them how the mempool works and how the fees are flexible and how blocks don't really get mined every 10 minutes. And it also says stuff that Lightning is private when, you know, there are limits to the privacy that it has and there are lots of improvements that need to be made to Bitcoin. So from this point of view, I think it's a bit idealistic, but it's a good book. Like if I first started and wanted to get interested into Bitcoin, I would want to read this. And your rating is 10 for accessibility and 7 for the content. So that's an 8.5, which puts it on par with the Bitcoin standard and also Bitcoin money. Yes, this is, yeah, this is exactly. The perfect rating for for this book, uh, 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 it's only seven on content because of the, the thing I, I I've said. Uh, there's there's not enough subject I was interested in, but it's a great, it's a way better introductionary book than any other book we talked about uh, as of yet. So so yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with, the, and I agree with you that it's it, it shows a bit that it was written by. Uh, a lot of authors, uh, but not nevertheless. It's it's a, a book I would recommend and, and give to people, uh, but not the first one. I have other books I would uh, give. Well, it depends of it's it's all, it always depends to the 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 sub um, the person who's going to read it. Uh, people have different interests, so so maybe this book is perfect for one of person you know that is more interested in human rights let's say uh, but it's not going to be uh, uh, as much interesting than my my neighbor who is a financial professional so, so it, maybe it's going to be more interested in why buy bitcoin or or or, or uh, at the price of tomorrow or something like that you know so yeah yeah it's not so much about money so I agree exactly. with that. So what about 21 lessons by Der Gigi he was on the podcast like 2 years ago yeah, it's awesome book though. So I would say uh, uh, nine on ten for accessibility and and uh, eight for the content. Uh, it's a simple book, but it's uh, it 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 really it's a great way to be. Uh, Gigi uh, has a great way to present his um, finding. Uh, uh, on Bitcoin in 21 lesson. That's the title of the book. So it's it's a quick read. It's well structured, and and it it's uh, it's more straight straight uh, to the point than other books. So and and when when I was reading about Bitcoin, uh, I, I was pretty much uh, I, I would I arrived at pretty much the exact same conclusion he has um, in this book. So it was really uh, just. Uh, confirmation of what I've read so far at that point. So I really liked it. Um, uh, his the part where he has the coin and and and, and the um, uh, U.S. money with the, the redeemable gold and 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 uh, this this note as legal tender is really cool. I think it, it actually made me bought uh, some uh, Roman uh, coin and 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 I I did bought a gold certificate a real one and 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 i bought uh, the series after from 1934 that is only written legal tender after the order 6102 um when they all uh, took the gold from everyone uh, so on the next bill uh they 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 um they produced they could not they could not write redeemable in gold so they that's where legal tender was uh, uh well was um, not invented because I think it was written before, but they removed at least the the reference to gold on those bills, and that's the first time I was um, introduced to that. So it was cool. Yeah, so you're giving a lot of eight point fives to books so far. We have twenty one lessons and the little Bitcoin book and Bitcoin money and the Bitcoin standard. 
are all on top of the chart with 8.5 out of 10. Well, they're actually all, all great books. That's why all those books are really, there, there's no books I've read that was really like a bad book. It, the only grief I have is when the book is not accessible enough, but that's not the real problem because the uh, t- there's people that are not noobs that are interested in Bitcoin, so they're, they're going to find books that are advanced and that's, that's fine. But all the books I've read are were really well written, well taught, and and had great content. So so yeah, those those um, those uh, rating are going to be high for sure, and we're not done. I think they're going to be ten on ten some some sometime soon. <laughs> okay, so what about inventing Bitcoin? Yep, you got. Uh, I think you got the almost perfect book there. So it's going to be a ten on ten on uh, accessibility, and it's going to be a nine on ten for content. Um, yeah, it's the perfect book to introduce people on how Bitcoin works. It's as simple as that. It's the book I should have read before mastering Bitcoin because there's all the concepts in there on how Bitcoin works. Uh, and, and and it's accessible for my mother. <laughs> my mother can read that book and understand how it works. It's I actually stole the idea of uh, Jan Pritzker um, for uh, explaining um, Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is not a complex mat- medical equation. It's a lottery. It's it's just computers using a hashing function on 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 the transaction with a no n- nonce a a just a random number that they generate and they just hash that and and depending on the result they win or they they don't win the money that's as simple as that to explain so i think that the comparison with with uh, uh, complex mathematical uh, 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 c- c- compute computation is is really wrong because it's not the way to explain that Th- those computers are not calculating something complex they are just uh, uh, guessing numbers uh, to 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 win the lottery. That's all it is there. So um, so 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 that's that's the, that's really at that point, I really understood um, how mining works, and I, I I did read Mastering Bitcoin, and it's explained in there. But but I, I don't think I got it the right way. But with inventing Bitcoin, I was like, okay, now I understand how why mining was working like that and, and why it's need energy. So it was really, really well uh, laid out. So I stole his, well, I asked him before and I mentioned, I quote it in, in my book, um, but this is how I explain um, uh, uh, mining in my book. It's a lottery. And all all those Hazix miner do is um, hashing a random number with the, the transaction. That's it. Okay, so Inventing Bitcoin by Jan Pritzker is right now on top of the chart with 9.5 out of 10. And you should know if you're listening to this that the paperback version is about $9 on Amazon. So this is also one of the most affordable books that you can find Yes, on the topic of Bitcoin. And the Kindle version is $8. But I think if you get the chance to get you know, the physical copy of the book for a dollar more, I think you should get that one. Of course, and, you also pay for shipping. And actually, you know that uh, it's free uh, on uh, Swan Bitcoin website. You can have it for free on PDF. Uh, they are giving away for free uh, now, so, so which I find it really cool. So you can read Inventing Bitcoin for free. Really? So PDF. do you need to have an account with Swan or no. anyone can access it? No, it's it's you. I think you need to give away your your email account, but uh, you, you need to give away an email address. Sorry, but uh, but yeah, it's 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 free on, on the Swan uh, Swan Bitcoin website. I think I think if you you look on Google, you're gonna find it uh, pretty fast. Um, and 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 also, I I translated it with my uh, professor and uh, Thibaut Maréchal. We translated it, so it's published right now. It's available. It's it's called L'invention de Bitcoin. Uh, it's it's published on this at the same edition, uh, well, with the same publisher than my book. That's really cool. So the next one is the book of Satoshi. 
Yes. This is a collection of all the emails and all the forum posts that Satoshi has made yeah. before he disappeared. Yeah. And it also has a foreword by Jeff. I I can't see very well here. I uh, I don't know either, but uh, the the other is Phil Champagne. Yeah, Phil Champagne. And is this just like a collection, like the one that you find on the Nakamoto Institute, or does it have any kind of commentary? Yes. Because I've wanted to get it, but I just thought, okay, I can read this on the Nakamoto no. Institute website. Yeah, it's it's better than it's it's more than that. Uh, uh, Phil Champagne is is really um, uh, into Austrian economics, so uh, there is a lot of concept there that I um, that uh, I. I was really uh, aware of uh, because I read Bitcoin Standard and what has government done to our money. So, so, but it re- was really cool to have a, 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 a to to read uh, some other uh, thought about uh, Austrian economic and 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 um, and all and all that in the, uh, the the first chapters of this book. It's a really well uh, laid out books. It's it could be good for beginners. Some some someone can start his uh, Bitcoin journey there. Um, uh because because there's a great introduction it's not just what uh satoshi wrote uh but uh but yeah it's uh i, li- I like this book a lot i will give it a, a eight on ten for uh accessibility and and then nine on ten for uh well no yeah eight on ten for accessibility and nine on ten for content because uh reading uh the um, the, the 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 writings of uh, Satoshi was was really cool for me because uh, I joined Bitcoin like uh, in in the later uh, in, in the later stage uh, of, of of it so I was not really in contact with all those Satoshi uh, writings uh, so it was um, a great uh, a, a great way to understand uh, history. Of, of Bitcoin, the early years, uh, the, the, well, the real, the very beginning of Bitcoin. Uh, I've I've read about half of it because, um, yes, because it's there's like 500 pages or something, so it's a pretty big book. But uh, I've read half of it, and because I needed those uh, those quotes for my book, because in at every chapter there's a quote from Satoshi, so that's where I got the quotes. I've read. Uh, half of this book and, and found enough materials for for uh, for the quotes in in my my book so uh, yeah uh, all the publish uh, the the all the writings from uh, um what's the forum uh, uh b- sorry the name of the forum <laughs> at the beginning was uh i don't remember what the the cypherpunk forums all the writing that uh, when he published it uh, earlier and you heard you you learn about the history um uh, like uh, how, when he started working on Bitcoin, uh, uh, there was uh, I think the code the the code was published before the white paper. All that stuff you you see all that in there because it's all the communication between all the cypherpunks and 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 Satoshi. So pretty neat way to pretty easy way to uh, have all that information in in one in one book. Yeah, so I should look into it. Your yeah, rating course. is also 8.5s, which, which puts it on par with the Bitcoin standard and mastering Bitcoin and Bitcoin money and the little Bitcoin book and 21 lessons. I'm trying to keep track here. Perfect. I, 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 you know what? And I, I, I met, I had the chance to meet um, Phil Champagne, who is actually a Quebecer, which surprised me. I didn't know that. So in French, his name is Phil Champagne, and he's from Quebec. Uh, this, well, same province uh, as me, and we we met in in uh, in Bromont in, in Quebec uh, this summer, and uh, we we had a, a great chat, and and it was awesome. He explained me how he he he, um, he found Bitcoin, uh, and and. Uh, what what made him decides uh, to read the book and and uh, uh, is he was uh, already aware of uh, Austrian economics so so uh, when he saw Bitcoin he he really saw that was the perfect way to um, to apply Austrian economics uh, to the the future to the to the to our time right now our digital world so that that's what caught him uh, caught his eyes. Uh, uh, when he learned about Bitcoin, so so yeah, it was really really cool to 
to have the opportunity to ask him about all that it was was uh, was an honor. <laughs> yeah. So the next one is why buy Bitcoin? Investing today in the money of tomorrow by Andy Edstrom. What about this one? Uh, this is the book with the best description of money I've read. There's like 14 characteristics uh, of good money in there. It's it it's built on it, it build more on on the content that is in uh, Bitcoin Standard and and uh, uh, the Bitcoin Money Book. Uh, it's it's a, it's an even better description of what is good money or hard money. So I really recommend that book for that. It's really well written. Um, and Andy is uh, from the uh, Wall Street world. So he worked for all those big firms there. So it's really cool to have his insight about that. Uh, and that's the first part. And the second part, sorry, I didn't read it because it was a, because uh, the, the, it, it's a um, the second part of the book. It's a it's a description of, of Bitcoin investment, and and I'm not really interested in that at all. So I skipped it to read more <laughs> about other subject. But if you wanna know if it's a good idea or not to to invest in Bitcoin, that's the book to read. But I cannot vouch for for the content because I've not read it. But I know that's what's in there on the second part. But I cannot. Uh, give you a, a rating for that part but for the part about money it's the best one i've read so i recommend it so it's gonna be a eight on ten for accessibility and uh, uh, eight for content okay so can you say again so ten and eight no eight and eight. Oh, so it's a solid eight yep okay uh so if you want, we can skip right away to the the price of tomorrow. We're going to talk about the book about um, uh, Zimbabwe after. Okay, so this one, Hard Boiled Egg Index, is about Zimbabwe. Yeah, exactly. And the Warm, Art, Ugly Face, and When Money Destroy Nation, those three books are all about uh, Zimbabwe. Right. Actually, you have three of them. But, okay, let's move on. The Price of Tomorrow by Jeff Booth. How is this one? Uh, it's a 10 on 10 for content and uh, eight, well, seven on 10 for, for accessibility. I would not make my mother read that book, but, but, uh, but it's a really important book. It, it, it just explains uh, that the future is, uh, will be deflationary. So, in the future, it's going to be deflation, no matter what, because of uh, uh, technology. So the technology right now and AI and all that stuff um, is is supposed to make things cheaper always. But central banks are printing money to uh, to keep the inflation between one percent and three percent because they don't want your house to worth less than uh, your uh, mortgage. So. They don't want a deflationary uh, future. They they are they're going to print money to make sure there's at least a little bit of inflation. That's what uh, the price of tomorrow explains, and it also explains how much it costs us in debt to have um, um, growth in, in markets. So we 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 accumulated like uh, I don't know it, it, some trillions of dollars in debt to create some trillions of dollar in 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 growth in the markets in the last eight years and he said that to have the same growth in the next eight years going to cost double what in debt that what it cost us in in the in the last eight years so it's really it's really interesting to have his outlook about that because uh, i was not aware of that and, and yeah, so it's a very important book for the future to understand how the future is going to lay it out. Um, and uh, it's not, a, I thought it was not a Bitcoin book. And it was like, wow, this guy really gets Bitcoin. <laughs> he, 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 like he's, he's, it's like it's, he wrote a Bitcoin book, but it, it, there, it's not about Bitcoin. But actually, there's a mention of Bitcoin at the end, but it's not a Bitcoin book because he, 
he did not read wrote it as a Bitcoin book, but he, he's he's talking about Bitcoin at the end because it, it, Bitcoin is deflationary too. So so he just he just put it out there and 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 talks about it in in his book. Um, and 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 yeah, and and this book is very under, important to understand the word deflation because uh, if you say deflation around any economic uh, economist or, or or people in finance they freaked out because because they think we talked about the contraction of the economy and 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 the deflation of price because of lack of demand uh, and contraction of the economy but that's not what this book is about and that's not what deflation and price that bitcoin could bring it's not contraction of the real economy it's it's uh, it's just the the numbers that that go lower but not the actual output uh, i think you understand what i mean it's it's a uh, it's it's all it's it's all a semant- a semantic and french is semantic i don't know if it's the exact word in english but it's yeah, semantic semantic it's just semantic i mean when i say deflation what i think about is is um is being more efficient and price going down because we're more efficient. When uh, economists talk about deflation, they talk about the contraction of economy. Uh, with Bitcoin, we, we would have a contraction of the economy with uh, the numbers, but not the real output. Because so, I don't think it, I don't know if it's too complicated, but but it's just we don't we have a different definition of this word, and and think it's important for people to realize that there's another definition of deflation, and our future is going to be uh, uh, we're going to live in a defla- deflationary future because of technology. And what he says that central bank will not be able to keep up uh, with the money printing to to beat the deflation. That's what he says. That's actually a very interesting way of presenting Bitcoin to somebody because you start with this whole argument about deflation and you don't shove Bitcoin into the argument until the end when it actually makes sense. Yep. You make all of your statements about the future of economics and then you actually explain why Bitcoin fits into this picture. Yes. Whereas I, I think all the rest of the Bitcoin books just try to fit Bitcoin into something from the beginning. Yep, and I right. suppose that to some newbies or skeptics, when they read something like this, they become more skeptical. They're going to be, oh, yeah, so this is yep. just another one of those cult-like <laughs> bullish books that yep. only look for the bright side. But I think this is the right approach. So what was the rating for The Price of Tomorrow? Uh, I think I said 10 on the content and 7 on accessibility. Okay, so another 8.5, which is on par with Mastering Bitcoin <laughs> and the Bitcoin Standard and all the others. And, and to give it uh, a um, like a more um, uh, tangible uh, example of why this book could be um, uh, of use is that I would give people this book, The Price of Tomorrow, instead of The Little Bitcoin Book, because I think this book would have a greater impact on, on them to understand the future and what Bitcoin could bring, even if it's not a book about Bitcoin. <laughs> it's, it's exactly what you said. That it's a great approach to, um, but but you, it's not for everybody because people who read this book gonna have to be interested in all that. So so it's not the perfect introduction book, but for some people who would will understand what deflation is, it's it's uh, it's pretty mind blowing uh, reading about all that. Right. So right now you have a couple more books about Zimbabwe. There's also When Money Destroys Nations, which I think is also... Yes, it's about Zimbabwe, those three books. Are, so so what happened there is that I, I've got interested in hyperinflation. Uh, and and I decided to, to, to have a deep dive into that subject. And I read those three books. So it's Hard Board Index, uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Warm Heart, Ugly Face, and When Money Destroy Nations. Uh, the two first books are uh, are real accounts of what happened in in uh, in Zimbabwe. The, the authors, uh, both authors, were there when it happened. One was uh, the director of uh, of a uh, uh, um, sorry uh, a chain of uh, clothes clothes chains. So he was uh, it was he was uh, selling uh, clothes uh, nationwide, and uh, the other is a banker. 
um, who so both of them describe what happened uh, with uh, hyperinflation in Zimbabwe, and uh, <laughs> to to say that it was interesting is an understatement. It's crazy interesting. Um, inflation, hyperinflation, is a concept that. Yeah, we know there's a lot of zeros on the bills and money worth nothing in in a day, and uh, so we we understand that. But but understanding what it caused in the society and what problem it it, it caused, it's it's uh, very different. Reading about it from people who've lived it, it's it's uh, it's a mind blowing uh, process, and it's uh, yeah. It's really interesting and heartbreaking at the same time. It's a um, it's a mix it's mixed feeling. Uh, yep. So so yeah, it's a really it had a profound effect on me because uh, I was finding this, as I said, extremely interesting but extremely sad at the same time. So I recommend the reading of those two books for 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 because if if you want to put your mind off re, like Bitcoin books for for a week, <laughs> take any of those books and read 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 them uh, read one of them and and you're gonna it's gonna have an impact on you for sure. So so when I when I talk about books, I always say to people that I don't read fiction because there's too much books about the real thing that really happened that exists that. I cannot read fiction. I don't have time to read fiction. If I want fiction, I, I listen to movies and, and and I watch movies, sorry. And and that's fine. I like fiction too. But for books, I prefer to to read uh real accounts because because they are as much interesting as as uh, fiction for me. Yeah. And and, and, and you learn you would assume that this could never happen and this could be only the subject of science fiction or some sort of dramatic fiction, but then you discover that this actually happened. Yep, yep it's crazy. One one uh, one one uh, anecdote I can tell you is that um, when when you have hyperinflation and you're a power, let's say a power company, your bill or your bills are gonna get paid in one month or two months. So when there's hyperinflation, uh, the bills, the money you're gonna receive in two months. It's not going to worth anything. Like anything, it's well. It's not going to worth not even one cent. It's, it's, that is what it's going to worth zero. So the power companies didn't have any money to uh, buy uh, cars, well, trucks and and fuels and uh, and anything. So so the workers were there for some reason, uh, but they didn't have any um, fuel to to put in their trucks to get to fixed. Uh, power failure so the the population had to go use their own car to go get the technicians and and we'd put the ladder on the cars on the top of their cars drive to the to the post where the the problem was and and get the, the technician fix the power failure and drive them back to uh to their to their shop or or even better <laughs> drive them to another uh, neighborhood who needs a repair <laughs> <laughs> and they were like exchanging technicians like that with their own cars because the power company didn't have any money to um to to fix the power failure so so that's what you get when when you have hyperinflation money wor- doesn't worth anything there's also a book of history that you read it's called the lessons of history and i can't really see the subtitle because it's very small but it's by will and ariel durant Yep, I think this book is important too because, um, well, it was all those books. Uh, by the way, was uh, recommended by um, Bitcoiners, and uh, besides, not not the Zimbabwe books. I find them, I found them myself, but the, all the other books were were recommendation I found on on Twitter, and these books was uh, uh, recommended to me uh, quite a lot of times. So so I decided to read it, and uh, uh, the the major takeaway here is that. Uh, I had the uh, impression, you know, when we say that um, the, uh, history repeats itself, I had this weird, um, this weird uh, uh, thought that reading this book, w- book would would uh, let me uh, um, predict the future. <laughs> well, it actually don't uh, help you predicting the future, but it really tells you what's changed uh, 
uh, in in history and and what does not change uh, throughout the history and uh, the pendulum. You know that uh, it's always a pendulum. We always go too far right, and after that, too far left. And so, so it's it's really cool about that. And there's there's a good. Um, parallels between uh, education and and uh, and birth uh, uh, sorry birth rate I think it's called in English and so there's there's cool parallels like that in in each era of history that you can that are still true today so it was really eye-opening reading all that I think it's important read it's a really quick read it's like an hundred page uh, uh, so so yeah it's really the lessons of, of history so I really really enjoyed it this book so i'm gonna give it a uh a, a eight for accessibility and and 10 for content oh so th this is on par with the other one which was on top which was inventing bitcoin yes that's a yep that's a that's a must read i think for for everybody not even if you're not if you're not just for bitcoiners for everyone i, I really really enjoyed this book Okay, so what about Knuts von Holm's Bitcoin Sovereignty Through Mathematics? Yep, I talked about it a bit earlier. Uh, it it was uh, it was a great uh, deep dive in Bitcoin philosophy. Uh, I like not um, a way of explaining thing, uh, putting things in context. It's been a long time since I've read it, so I cannot recall all the subject but what i can say to you is that it put my mind in 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 a better place to understand bitcoin and i still uh, um, uh it still contribute as of today uh, to my way of understanding bitcoin and explaining bitcoin so you know when you have all that knowledge you learn about you i cannot pinpoint everything i learn to a, a precise book but it's it's in my head so it, it changed my my opinion about one thing or it, it gave me information about another subject that i now that i am master that, that, that i know about uh so uh, so not book i think has a really deep impact on on my understanding on bitcoin but it's not really about a book about how bitcoin works or not really about what is money or it's not as precise or it's not i cannot you know, let's say um the bitcoin standard i can give you all the subject it covers because it's pretty clear and it's you know it's a but the not 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 books is really um more philosophical and it it it, it just uh it just the ideas you write about uh, are are just gonna change your view about Bitcoin, but it's it's not using a precise job subjects list to do it. I'm not okay, sure if it makes so sense, but yeah. How would you rate it? Uh, it's I would say uh, nine for content and and uh, seven for accessibility. Oh really? So it's not accessible. Well, it's not. It's not a book I would give to uh, a complete beginner. Let's say that it's uh, it's not it's, it's not that it's not accessible. It's 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 more than I would give it uh, to someone after he would have read Inventing Bitcoin, um, uh, my book. Uh, um, uh, sorry, there's a book missing here because uh, I always say. Oh, sorry, Larid Money. I would I would have someone read Larid Money, that is not on the picture, and we have not talked about yet before uh, Knott's book. So it's more about that. It's more it's a it's a book for further readings, not not for uh, uh, formal Bitcoin education. Hey, psst. hey, what's your plan for the next Bitcoin top? Unless you need the money to purchase something, you probably should not touch infinitely inflationary fiat. Check out Voltoro and figure out to which extent hard money like gold and silver can help you preserve your purchasing power. You will be able to get back into Bitcoin as soon as the price hits a new bottom and you will not be subjected to the arbitrary inflation-driven volatility of fiat 
or fiat backed coins. Obviously, this is not financial advice and you should understand that all trading involves risks. Wasabi Wallet connects to your full Bitcoin node. And if you're not running one, it downloads block filters anonymously via Tor. In either case, you're getting excellent privacy. Download the software today at wasabiwallet.io. Right, so, so far, so these are the books that you have read from 2018 to 2020. So this means that it took you two years to read these, just in case it sounds, you know, intimidating for somebody listening. It took you exactly two years to read these. It's not that much. It's not too little. It's admirable that you went through all of this knowledge and you only became better at explaining and understanding how Bitcoin works. True. And so far from your ranking, I can tell that the two best books from these are Inventing Bitcoin and The Price of Tomorrow. That's accurate. But and, wh and what I want to ask you right now is, of course, there are books that you have read since, and one of them is not in the picture, as you mentioned, and is Layered Money. Yep. How I does that one stack up? Yeah, I think I can conclude this uh, this this uh, book uh, review by just uh, giving the 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 order I would recommend to read Bitcoin books uh, for 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 people it, beginners or or not or or even advanced uh, uh, users because um, I think the books I've selected for the short list are uh, um, are are interesting for everyone. So. Uh, I would I would uh, begin with my book Tuso Bitcoin, which is only in French right now, um, but it, it's we're translating it right now in English, so it's gonna be something like everything about Bitcoin or all on Bitcoin. I'm not sure because I'm not English is not my my first language. I'm not sure how how those words sounds for 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 English people. If it's which one is better, I'm gonna do a. A, a, a poll, a poll about that someday, but yeah. So I would I would begin with something like my book because I explain what is money, what is fiat money, uh, how Bitcoin works, uh, how how, how Bitcoin is going to affect the future, what are the enemies of Bitcoin, how, how we can break Bitcoin, um, how how to use Bitcoin. I, I explain how to download a. a a wallet. I explain how to send a transaction. I explain uh, how transactions works. What is an address? What is a private key? What is what is a public key? All that. Uh, so that's really the the the, entry, the best introduction book out there. Because I, honestly, I've read them all. <laughs> uh, and 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 um, and yeah, I would start with that. And it's not just a book for beginners because uh, it will help advanced user. To have ideas how to explain bitcoins to beginners, so 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 yeah, so I took the best ideas I found on how to explain Bitcoin and put them in a book. So yeah, a book for everyone. After that, I would read Inventing Bitcoin or L'invention de Bitcoin in French, uh, because uh, the second step would be after having after being in in uh, in, in touch with. The three subjects I, I I think you need to uh, to understand to to understand Bitcoin is what is money, fiat money, and how Bitcoin works. The next steps would be to understand how Bitcoin works. Uh, so inventing Bitcoin, it's the best book for that. After that, I would recommend to read Layered Money. I talked uh, from uh, Nick Batia. I talked uh, a bit about it when we talked about. Um, the Bitcoin standard earlier. It's a book that will describe you uh, the, the complete history of money, how we got here today. The whole thing, it started in, uh, in the port in Amsterdam in, in the 16th century, I think. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. But so at that port, uh, they invented, uh, I think it's the bound or something like that. So so do you need, well, the, the, the anecdote I can tell you is that different, different payment was invented because uh, the boats were uh, transacting uh, gold coins be uh, uh, through the Atlantic and pirates were, were, uh, were stealing those coins or, or, or sink the boats with the coins. So they invented different payments. Uh, so what the, the, what the 
they invented is that instead of risking the coins every time um, overseas, they could just have a ledger and exchanging those coins virtually on the ledger instead of, of transacting, sending the coin to the sea. So that's where um, ledgers were invented. So it's all described in this book. I found it really cool <laughs> to, to know about that. So, so and all the way up to how uh, Bitcoin is going to be the next uh, uh, world reserve. So, so it's a, an essential book to understand Bitcoin, money, and the future of money, which is Bitcoin. And after that, I uh, would uh, uh, recommend The Price of Tomorrow. So we have four books, Mine, Inventing Bitcoin, Layered Money, and The Price of Tomorrow. With all with those four books, you're going to know almost as much as I know about Bitcoin or money uh, after reading all those like 26 books I've read so far. Interesting. And I see that in this picture, you are already planning what you should be reading this year and what you should be reading sometime in the future. Yes. Did you get to any of these? You have The Fiat Standard by Saifedean Amus, and you also have The Ethics of Money Production, and Grokking Bitcoin and Principles of Economics, and The Zero Interest Trap. This book <laughs> will save you time, and 40 Centuries of Wage and Price Controls, How to Fight Inflation. How yep, not it, to fight inflation? Um, well, the only books I've read in that list so far is uh, half of the Fiat Standard, which is awesome. Uh, I think a third of Principle of Economic, which I recommend too. Uh, and the one I've most advanced in is the Zero Interest Trap, which I like a lot. I'm halfway through the book. And it's it's the best book to understand how um, uh, uh, central banks works. It's it's an awesome book. It's not a, bo a Bitcoin book at all, but it's uh, it was recommended for to me for, from a Bitcoiner on Twitter, like all other books. But um, I really recommend it. It's really actual. It's it's explaining what what's happening right now with this, the minus um, the negative interest rate. It's really cool to to learn about that. So so yeah, as I said, that's the, the only three book I begin, but this year I changed a bit my my focus on on uh, promoting my my book and and translating um, layered money uh, because I think it's an important book for everyone. So I, I think French people uh, should have access to it. So uh, I've stopped reading and now I'm translating books instead. I think it's a more a better use of my time right now. Okay. Uh, I see that you also have some books that you have reserved for some time in the future, like The Internet of Money by Andreas Antonopoulos, and you have all three volumes, The Last Resort, The Sovereign Individual, and Bitcoin Le Guide Ultime, which I guess is a translation, or is it original? No, it's an original. It's a book in French that I found on on. Amazon. I was. I wanted to compare it to my book, but I, I didn't have time to uh, to read it. It's, a, it's an older book, though. Also, so I'm not sure of, of the content of it uh, as of now. Uh, but uh, like the sovereign individual, it's it's just that it's a very long book for me. I'm very slow reader, so I'm going to read it someday because I think it's very important. As I heard, it's very important to read, but uh, you know, time is uh, <laughs> time is uh, a scarce. Uh, thing so, so I I, I I I so I've read other books instead of of that one. And Internet of Money. The reason I've not read it is because I I tried to read more recent book. Uh, the Internet of Money was out in 2016, I think the first one, the first volume. So uh, I I I I tried uh, to read more recent book before this one, uh, but but for sure someday I'm gonna I'm gonna read them. It's all about time, you know. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I'm looking at these books right now. And what I'm thinking about is that you have nowadays in the bull market, lots of courses and lots of classes by more or less questionable people who ask you for $500 or $1,000 for a course on how Bitcoin works, you know, stuff like Bitcoin and blockchain, master it in one week. And they promise that they're going to help you get lectures and stuff like that. But at the same time, with about $9, you can get one of these books 
which you have rated very highly, like Inventing Bitcoin or The Price of Tomorrow. And you can even get the audiobook and you can listen to it at your own pace whenever you want to. And that's just a small fraction with a lot more of the knowledge in a way that's actually verified and it's guaranteed and has been tested by others before you. Yes, you're 100% right. So that's why I chose We should the... spread the message out there, you know, that these Bitcoin books, they look intimidating, but if you take the time, you're going to save a lot of money and you're going to learn a lot more as opposed to paying for courses. And this yes. this is not, you know, some sort of slamming of Bitcoin educators, because I know that there are people who also wrote books and are taking students to teach them stuff about Bitcoin. This is not any way of discouraging in-person education. But in many cases, it's a lot more efficient if you learn at your own pace from a book. And nowadays, you have this convenience of listening to it. And if you are an English speaker, you have this privilege of having pretty much everything available to you at any time. So instead of watching a Netflix series, you can actually acquired the kind of knowledge that's going to change your life and might just help you, you know, you're going to make it as we, we like to talk in this meme of NGMI and WAGMI, <laughs> we're all going to make it or not going to make it. Yep. You're hundred percent right. Um, and also what they could have had about those courses, uh, is I, I, I think I, it's often about trading, you know, so they're, they're gonna, explain you how to trade and and be a millionaire in a week so i think i saw a lot of that of those so those i don't think those those uh, are <laughs> those are equivalent to have a proper uh, education in bitcoin reading books but as you said there's other there's other content uh, uh content uh, creators that that has for sure good um good course uh, about Bitcoin and maybe some people are going to ha- listen to the, those courses for a week and, and, and it will worth their $500 for sure. It depends of the, of the, the preference of people. Maybe some people prefer to listen to people, uh, sort of like to a teacher, uh, that will, uh, that will, uh, uh, get, give them the, what's best about all those reading, but, the question we have to ask ourselves is: <laughs> Is the the teacher uh, uh, did the teacher read all the books, or is 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 um, is as his knowledge is is uh, is uh, is good enough, or I don't know. So so yeah. So, so the, I, I'm not sure all the five hundred dollars courses are equivalent. That's just what I try to to uh, to say here. So so everybody has his own way of of uh, of learning. For by chance, my best way of learning is reading books. So, and as you said, it's really, really cheap to buy books. And with the four books I I I, I gave you, uh, the the list I gave you, I think you would be pretty much set. Uh, you would have a perfect understanding of what Bitcoin is, how it works, what is money, and what's the future of money with just those four books. So, you don't need to sit uh, a whole week. Um, uh, be in front of your, your computer to understand Bitcoin. You just need to, to read four books. That's as simple as that. Yeah, and also something that I want to ask you at this point is, was there a moment during your learning, during your research, when you read a book and you disagreed and you felt like, you know, I actually can do this better and I can explain it, you know, in a more coherent or more more comprehensive way? Mm, good question. Um, not, not as you put it, but I decided to write my book because after reading uh, the Bitcoin standard, what has government done to our money, inventing Bitcoin and the price of tomorrow, uh, I was wondering if it was, I was like, my mom uh, is not going to read those four or five books. It's impossible. So, and and a lot of people won't do that, but they need that knowledge. So I, I was I, I I thought myself I can make a small book, create write a small book uh, of like hundred fifty page, 
uh, with the, the three most important subjects, which is what is money? What are the characteristics of money? What's the role of the roles of money? Um, uh, how Bitcoin works, how mining works, our transaction works, and and what's the future of, of, of money? I can do that, and I did. That that's that that's the moment I the moment you described was more like I just said. It's not like, oh, this is not good, I will do better. It's like I cannot ask um, a normal person to read five books to understand Bitcoin. It ha someone has to do it in one book, and I did. Okay. Hashtag humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, the the thing is the, the each book is really effective, uh, efficient as as describing his own uh, subject. Like uh, inventing Bitcoin is perfect to understand how Bitcoin works, but it's lacking on 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 the money side and, and fiat fiat side. So so and what has government to uh, done to our money? It doesn't talk about Bitcoin. So it's it's you know. So I, I just I just took the puzzle the the, the puzzles uh, uh, pieces and and a put them together yeah i didn't invented so much thing in my book i mean i just put it the pieces together in the order i thought was the be the best one to understand bitcoin okay so i'm really happy that we had this conversation about bitcoin books as it feels like there's a lot of content out there but you don't really know where to start if you're to start again today, would you follow the same pattern and start with the hardest books first and then teach yourself that you should be looking into other topics like economics? Or would you start with inventing Bitcoin and the price of tomorrow and basically expand your knowledge from there? Yes, this definitely would have, sh sh would have done. It's, it would have, I would have saved time. Because if you read the four books, I... I the list I, I I told you is, you're if you're more interested in uh, how Bitcoin works, well, you can always read Mastering Bitcoin After. Or if you're more interested in 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 investing in Bitcoin, well, you you read after that you read Why Buy Bitcoin. Or if you're more interested in in the Austrian economics and 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 uh, how money works, well, you you read the Bitcoin Standard or the Principle of Economics from Safid Nemos or the Fiat Standard from Safid Nemos. After you read those four books, you can expand your knowledge on those different subjects. But uh, reading those advanced books first is not really efficient because I don't remember everything I've read in, in Mastering Bitcoin because uh, I was not at the level needed to understand all, all, that, all, all those concepts at the time. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. So let me ask you, David, where can people find your book? Uh, the uh, the website on well it's on Amazon for starters I have a website is tusurbitcoin.com, dot uh, which uh, right now you I think you can uh, it's everything bitcoinbook.com. so it will it will it will point to my French web website which is only French right now because the English version is not out yet but uh, you will find it on Amazon on any countries uh, so it's two sur Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's available in in, in Amazon in uh, uh, USA, UK, France, uh, Canada, Japan, I think too, uh, and even um, Germany. Wait, so I let think. me understand. It's two suit Bitcoin, so yeah. everything about Bitcoin. T o u t s u r Bitcoin. Dot com. Okay, that's exactly. easy to remember. Everything about Bitcoin, but in French. If you want yeah. to check that out. So you prefer uh, everything about Bitcoin uh, to all on Bitcoin? Uh, I guess. Okay. But all on Bitcoin is shorter. Usually shorter domains are easier to remember. Easier, yeah. But I, I usually, know. when I talk, I say everything as opposed to all. Yeah, me too. Okay. Well, I think it's going to be everything about Bitcoin. All about Bitcoin, I, I think, is... You know, rolls off the tongue. All about Bitcoin. I like it. <laughs> you should stick to that one. But don't take my opinion for business. Okay, I'm going to do a poll on Twitter someday. <laughs> yes. And how can people follow you on Twitter? I'm uh, I'm David Sainange. So it's at David Sainange. Uh, D A V I D S T O N G E. 
and I'm pretty active uh, there. Um, so so uh, uh, follow me. Uh, I may follow you back, uh, and and we can engage on on Twitter. I, I really like Bitcoin Twitter. Uh, it's I think half of what I learned is from Bitcoin Twitter. All those great uh, Bitcoiners, uh, um, uh, Pierre Rochard. Uh, uh, um, yeah, I don't have a list in in, in my well. Uh, the, Uh, Francis Pouliot, uh, uh, Gnot, uh, De, uh, Gigi, Jeff Boot, uh, Bitcoin Rabbi, uh, f- yeah, Jan Pritzker, all, all those, uh, Jimmy Song, all those Bitcoiners on Twitter uh, post a lot of things that 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 make made me learn uh, in in my journey of, of learning about Bitcoin. It's just, just the book. It's it's also Bitcoin Twitter. Okay. I'm not sure what else I should ask you at this point. I feel like we had the perfect conversation about books. But one last question: How would you rate my magazine? You're, well, that's that's actually one thing I wanted to talk to you about in the conclusion. Your magazine uh, uh, blew blew me blew my mind off. I, I mean, it's there's there's I think there's more content in there than my book. It's what it's like. It's like eighty. 88 pages how many words do you have the words count no no but it's it's pretty heavy on content and it's it's accessible i mean well i'm gonna rate your your magazine okay your magazine is uh, a, a solid eight for accessibility and and 10 on content for sure oh so uh, it's a nine uh, yeah it's a nine. i'm better than mastering bitcoin <laughs> yeah the <laughs> only yeah yeah it's true actually but uh the, the thing is the, the only thing i would the comment I would give you is that it it's, it's it's the difference between a magazine and a book. It's not structured like a, my book. Like, you know, there's an introduction and you, it's, it's article. So they all talked about different subjects. So you cannot have like a, um, like the plan is not, uh, is not as uh, structured as, as a book. So that's why it's a magazine. It's, it's, it's made like this. It's, it's okay. It's on three really different subjects. So it's not, It, it and it it it's uh, accessible for any level. There's articles that are more advanced, but there's article for beginners. But yeah, the only thing is that m- maybe the article for the beginners would would have been better to be in the beginning of the of the magazine. But I'm not even sure it makes sense for a magazine. You know, uh, I, I, what was your process for for the order of the article in in the magazine? I think What? it's pretty random. I didn't okay. really have an order. I think the order is more chronological than it is okay. logical. Because yeah. I, I try to put articles that I have written in the past six months. Yeah. So I put them there. I didn't think too much about the order. And that's why it's a magazine. And also, exactly. I, I wanted it to have nice graphics. And I wanted it to be easy to pick up. Like you have it on a coffee table somewhere. And you pick it up. And you can find something accessible or interesting to you no to matter you, what you're into yeah i think the article are really well thought well written uh it, it i learned things uh, in there that in, i didn't know so i really recommend it i actually post a, a twitter post uh, about it like last week uh saying people that they should they should uh, ask you for one copy because i really liked it so yeah so so it's we I, we cannot rate it like a, like the book because because the books because there's a difference between a magazine and a book but the content of it is uh is really cool and i i really prefer reading magazines than article on websites because you have it in your hand you can skip articles you can i don't know i really like it. you can read it anywhere so i recommend it really great work of you and it's free so so what what else could be better and i have the chance of having a physical copy that you sent me Before, and well, from it's the actually, first print. Yeah, the, the first print, and it's it's actually before we well we met we met because of that because I saw a post uh, Twitter uh, tweets about it and I said I was like hey can I have one <laughs> and you said yes <laughs> that's it <laughs> as simple as that and I have it right now and I really enjoyed it um I, and one last thing uh, uh, Vlad that we didn't talk I, I, don't, I don't think I rated Layer Money did I. You can mention it again. I don't remember. There were lots of numbers, but so l- layered money is a 10 for content and a eight for um, for for uh, accessibility. So it's the, I think it's the winner here. It's the best book about Bitcoin around right now. Uh, 
I mean, it's yeah. on par with inventing Bitcoin and the price of tomorrow. So yeah, so those are those uh, those four, three books are on my short list. So so yeah, so it makes sense. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm really happy and grateful for your time and the fact that we got to talk about books. And now somebody listening to this knows where to start and knows where to look for the the greatest amount of knowledge that is most accessible to them. And I think that's very useful. So thank you very much, David. To everyone, his name is actually David Santonge, and that's how you pronounce it in French. Yes. I'm saying it, David, just because I know that most listeners are from the United States. And maybe that sometime in the future, we can have another conversation about other books and even the one that you're working on. Yes, yes, of course. And maybe we're, we're going to be able to talk about my, my, the English version of, of my book that, that should be out maybe next year. Uh, the translator is at like 70% translated as of now. So, so it could be, it could happen kind of soon. So, so I would be glad to have a chat about it with you for sure. Yeah, hit me up whenever that one comes out. I'm really happy about promoting content and people who actually create stuff as opposed to marketers. Uh, not that I hate them, but <laughs> you know. Well, this is this is the conclusion of uh, of uh, the, uh, the podcast we I, I I I had a chance to do with um, uh, Daniel Prince uh, once bitten. Uh, uh, we we concluded the podcast uh, saying that. Um, like uh, bit corners are educator and all corners are, are marketers or yeah so that's that's very different the promoters yeah so uh, often so so yeah that's a big big difference uh, most of big corners I know or uh, that I interact with are like educator they, they want people to uh, have more knowledge about Bitcoin and 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 I think the all corners I I, I see, uh, uh, often just chill tokens to pump backs so and and i don't want to make enemies here it's it's a general uh, it's a generalization in french sorry i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm it's, it's like i'm putting everyone in the same basket but it, it's of course there's all corners that are not there to scam you they exist for sure but but the people i know the bit corners i know are all about um uh 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 having people uh, understand Bitcoin and, and most of all corners I see because I don't know much of them are all about, have you seen this token? It's going to pump uh, 100, uh, well, a thousand percent in the next week by it. So it's very, very, very different. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, for every Dan held out there who only, you know, comes up with bullish tweets and stuff like that, there's always someone who looks for deeper meaning and looks for ways to create content to help others. And I think that everyone listening who is not a native English speaker, one of the best ways in which you can contribute to this space is to translate in your native language. Yes, true. That's also something that I've done. I've also translated Blockstream Green, the wallet in Romanian. Cool. And I also look forward to working on similar projects because I feel like I'm actually helping people understand how this works. Yes. And that's the satisfaction that you get because there is a huge barrier. And when you're an English speaker, you have access to all of the research and all of the interesting stuff that's happening around the world. But if you don't speak English, you're going to feel very intimidated and you must rely on news sources and experts who are going to send you and yeah, there's a gatekeeper for you. Yeah, there's a gatekeeper. And when you know the language, you have firsthand access to the information and you can explore whatever you want to. And I, I would very much like for more content, even, you know, more books, more magazines, more podcasts, more websites to be in all of the languages. So far, I have seen efforts you know, m most of the times they automatically translate, which uh, I think is okay. But I know lots of Bitcoiners who come from different countries and it would be cool if they could translate. They can start with the white paper. And I know that there are translations already. But for example, 
something that I want to do at some point is to fix the Romanian translation because I feel like it has too many, as you said, too many, we call them neologism and neologism, okay. like words that come from another language and were yeah. appropriated by your language, but don't make very much sense because they're not official. Yeah. So jargon, too much of that. Uh, I would spend some time to explain the terms, maybe even if it takes an extra sentence to explain it, just to have it there so that yeah, anyone true. reading that can understand what this is about or add some footnotes. Is there so, a is there a government or, or, or um, a bureau uh, for for because I'm, I'm going to explain in, in, in Quebec we have a uh, office de la langue française so uh, like uh, the bureau of uh, French language and and they came up with uh, with a dictionary for for uh, for uh, crypto uh, money uh, um, terms uh, blockchain terms and and that's what I used to make uh, my book and, and and correct the translation of, of uh, the Bitcoin standard. Um, so we're, ha we're all those words are official, like because they are, are um, they are uh, in, officially included in, in in French language, at least in in Quebec. So 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 we have that. So that, that's what I use, and and so so it, it prevents people from using like four different words for the, the same translation because there there's no official um, official uh, uh, term. So so we have that. Do you have the same kind of uh, office for, for that in, in your country? No, we have the Romanian Academy, which okay. is an institution. And usually it's backwards. So they don't set standards. They expect people to publish and use a certain word. And they're going to include it in dictionaries as a reference to the works that have used that word. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah, but well, th that's that's what the 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 um, institution here did too. They, they, they consult uh, um, uh professionals uh in blockchain uh, industry to to have their input but but they yeah they, they kind of formalized the whole thing on a on a dictionary so so cool so so uh, you could be the one who invented or or suggest or publish the those words in your language that that could be cool <laughs> yeah everyone gets that opportunity awesome yeah that's cool Hey, you Vlad, can call I, yourself I, I, a linguist afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey Vlad, I just realized that we we forgot to talk about one book that is very important. It's the the uh, sorry the um, the blockchain the block size war, uh, which I've read very recently, and I think it's uh, it's a niche essential book for for uh, for for history about uh, Bitcoin of this era that I was not in Bitcoin, uh, the, the block size war in 2015 to 17, I think. So, so yeah, uh, I recommend it also. Uh, sorry to, 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 to talk about it at the very last second of the podcast, but uh, it's an awesome book that explained all what happened when some companies wanted to, um, to uh, make the blocks of Bitcoin bigger so it's a it's it was a really cool uh i feel more of a bit corner since now that i understand all what happened before i arrived in the in the in this in this space oh yeah this is like the bonus if you had the patience to listen all the way to the end you got the <laughs> recommendation for the book that was not presented prior because exactly. th this is the easter egg it's like yep. the reward for walking the extra mile because you're a hero if you listen to long Do you podcasts Do you remember like all those um, uh, album when we were younger that has these hidden songs at the very end of the CD that you had to listen to, uh, to uh, like two minutes of of, uh, of white noise and, and and boom, there's a song hidden at the very end of the CD? <laughs> yeah, it, it was a big trend in the 90s. Yeah, Green Day had those. I think Weezer had those too. Nirvana so, so, yeah, had them. Yeah. Yep, sound so, garden so yeah so it's the hidden book at the end of of, of the podcast yeah that they could do it because it was no longer the needle on the disc to be able to see when it got to the end so on the cd you had no idea how many tracks you're gonna have so they could include surprises yep exactly. i guess so, it's the same with podcasts yeah so now it's it's over because all those songs are are on the spotify so you, <laughs> you won't you won't start a the last songs with uh, like two minutes of of white noise <laughs> it would be strange yeah it, it's a different era i don't necessarily like it but 
whatever. Yep, but now we have such a huge backlog of music and art and films that we can explore. And True. I don't think you can ever see everything or listen to everything, even if you don't follow what's new and you look back at 100 years of cinema and of music, you you will always find something new. It's true. And it's true with Bitcoin too. The, uh, uh, how can we keep up with all that new content? How do you keep up with all that content it, it's it's crazy there's a, there's like a 10 podcasts per day that that is out and new books every month and and wow it's a, it's really really hard to keep up yeah it's insane and then you have people who pretend to be cryptocurrency experts and they're gonna be like oh i know about every crypto out there and you're gonna ask them questions and you're gonna see that they have no idea what they're talking about and they pitch blockchain as this solution for all of the world's problems yeah it's the meme that uh, hey i just discovered bitcoin i'm here to fix it so like like yeah yeah we yeah we, that, that's by john said sorry uh, it's by justin unset just okay. john said he was one half of the bitcoin uncensored podcast and okay. i'm also trying to get him on this podcast to interview him cool he's kind of hard to get but i'm still trying i sent him a magazine maybe that After oh, maybe. he gets it, he's going to contact read, me and read. After he's going to read all this great content, maybe yeah, he should contact you. Yeah, for sure. I sure hope so. Awesome. So thank you very much, David. This was a great interview and it's already episode number 10 of this cool. season. I guess I'm going to start season 10 sometime soon. And if you publish your book by then, let me know. All right. Thank you very much for, for having me. It's an honor. Vlad, thank you. Likewise. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> golden Bitcoin, 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 golden Bitcoin. Voltoro. Wasabi Wallet's innovative coin joints will make your Bitcoins more fungible. So if you accumulate more than 0.1 BTC, you can mix it with other users to remove all traces about their whereabouts. So it's like putting multiple fingerprints on your dollar bills and it becomes impossible to determine the last few owners of the money. Download Wasabi Wallet today and start coin joining.